Hi again, everyone. Ollie Matthews, Narcissistic Resistance. So, little update. You guys have been wanting to know what's been going on with me with the smoking. Um, happy to say I haven't had a cigarette in over a month. It'll be a month Friday. Um, actually, it's a month today. It was the 7th, so it's been over a month, and it's... It's not been a physical addiction to the nicotine. It's all been anxiety. It's all just been, you know, just this need to, to smoke. Um, something to do with your hands. It's just this constant. And, you know, it's unbelievable how much I, I was smoking at the end there. I mean, Depending on how, how much I was working and how anxious I was, I was going through two and a half to four packs a day. A day. So my lungs have basically cleared out. Um, my throat feels better. Um, just washing the smoke out of everything is just an undertaking. It's just been like... You don't even realize it. You don't even realize like, And I have done this before with the cigarettes. I mean, the first time I was, when I was real young, I was 23, 24, the first time I quit for 15 years. And it's just like this whole, under, like a couple days, I'm like, what is this like? And you start like, holy shit, is this what I smell like? Fuck. Fuck. I mean, everything scoured and it's just been you know it's just been this need to constantly be trying to grab something which is I was real bitchy <laughs> it was a bad month like, it was just a real bitchy bitchy month um, definitely harder than quitting at 44 is harder than quitting at 24 I'll tell you that it was 20, yeah, it was 20 years ago the first time I quit for 14, yeah, for four, for 14, 15 years, because I quit, then picked it back up again after the, like, during the divorce, and I quit again for another two years, and then when, when the cops broke in here and, and, and injured me and did what they did without a warrant, um, I was in no, they had the wrong address, so anybody with bunny rap posts about that they came to the wrong fucking address but after something like that it's i need a cigarette and it didn't stop and it didn't stop for another for two years that happened in october of 2014 yeah 2014 that happened in october 2014 so two and a half years later getting up to almost sometimes four packs a day. It's insane. It was insane. But looks like I'm through it without becoming a complete fat whale again. Because I was eating. You had to do something. So it was constant eating. And now I'm at the point where this food is, all the food's making me sick. And like, no, you're not supposed to. Remember, you're not supposed to be this fat. You're not supposed to be a fat guy. You're supposed to be a little skinny waif, which is what I need to go back. I gained like 30 pounds this month, in a month. In a month, I gained 30 pounds. But it, I'm surprised I didn't gain 60 the way I was eating. So, But I had to do it just to stay off the cigarettes because now I don't even think about like, I'm not looking for cigarettes now. I'm not looking to pick up cigarettes. I'm not, you know, every time I finish a video or finish a an action I'm not looking to pick up a cigarette anymore so so that's just an amazing thing I'm very very happy about that um, you know and it's just retra again it's just like it's a lot like narcissism you get trained into these behaviors and then breaking them is very difficult and you find out you're in these patterns like every time fucking I don't have to have a cigarette every time Charles Krauthammer pisses me off. You understand? Every time I want to punch Shep Smith in the face, I don't need to have a cigarette. I can do other things. 
I mean, that's just what it is, you know, this anxiety when you're, when you're doing what I'm doing now for a living and then trying to walk a line with politics and all that. And I can't believe I quit smoking in the month of with everything, whatever. It's birthday and Father's Day coming up and all the bullshit. The fact that I was able to just stop quitting at the beginning of May with all the bullshit that's been thrown at me this month, but especially with Bunny Rabbit, my father, all this, my daughter's birthday, all this bullshit. I can't believe I didn't pick up a cigarette, but I didn't. I didn't. So, so luckily that, uh, so luckily I'm done with the cigarettes. Won't be going back to them. My voice is, you can tell, is much, much better. Except for the really, really long stories, they're still gonna drop off. I'm always gonna have a raspy voice, I suppose. Um, so somebody made a comment in, uh, I've had a few comments, but in the last video I did about Trump videos, and I've been getting a lot of personal ones. They wanna see more Trump videos. And I made a joke, and I might, it's kinda of half serious. Look, I may have to put a flat rate on Trump videos cause the way the subscribers dip after everyone that goes up, you know, it might, I'm, I'm thinking of maybe a flat rate of anywhere from 50 to 75 bucks for, if you want a Trump video, not that I won't do them anyway, cause I can't help myself, but it'll make me feel better. And at least you'll be contributing. It's just another way to contribute. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, because I'm not at a point on this channel where I have enough subscribers where it doesn't matter. Because with the way they fucked with the revenue, and luckily that's all, looks like it's cleaned itself, figured it, straightened itself out. I still haven't gotten paid, but according to my network host, they sued on the other network host and they have seven days to release funds. And today's the seventh day. So I should be getting some network money as well today, which would be amazing as well so that's so that's clearing it that's clearing itself that's cleared itself up um but yeah i mean if you want to do that with the trump videos that's something else that's that's being discussed also um again i have two vi i have two contributions that need stories so if you have a story and you can't pay, and if you're somebody who really, this is for people who really can't pay, and you have something, send them in to me. And I also have two people that that need hour-long Skypes if anybody wants to contribute towards that, do the whole thing, um, how, however you wanna, wanna do that. But uh, the contributions I got for stories are four stories, and I really can't fit them in to, to combo them with a Skype in a, in a way. So these are two, I need two hour-long Skype contributions if anybody is wants to contribute towards that as well. So that's basically what's been going on, everybody. Um, smoking's done, feeling better. Here all day for videos if you need me, so I hope to hear from you. If you want to contribute for someone else, that'd be great. Uh, if you just want to contribute to the channel as well, I'll always use just straight channel contributions for to throw towards other people, towards free stuff as well. Um, so even if you're contributing, like don't think that if somebody that people are contributing and say, I don't want this going in, this is just for your channel. I will always try to work it in somehow and to be fair to everybody. So that's where we are. That's what's going on with the smoking. It's been a month, no smoking. So I'm happy. And if you guys want to contribute, know what to do. If you have stories, I have two openings. Just make sure you put at the top, I need this for free. I need a con I need contribution, okay? That this is without, I need a sponsor. So I know at the top. And that's all I'm asking. So again, thank you all everybody for your support. Remember this all this all is supported by you. I thank you. Pepe thanks you. Kekistan thanks you. See you all soon, everybody.